What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about what freshman movement is like at William & Mary. I know we have like a month until we come back. Freshmen, you guys are probably super anxious. You want to know what movement is like, well, how it's going to work. While I can't tell you what it's going to exactly be like because of COVID, I'm sure it's going to mimic what normal movement was like. So I'm going to go ahead and run through that and you guys are going to be filled in a little bit more on what you're going to be expecting when you come it's going to be super exciting a lot of stuff is going to be going on you're going to feel probably a little bit stressed but fresh movement is super super fun it's going to be the start of your college career and with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into the video so you guys can learn a little bit more all right so before you even move in, in the mail, you're going to be given a driving route for your car on how you are going to be um, driving to pull up to your dorm. You're going to be given your dorm and you're going to be given this piece of paper that has a color on it. And that color is your route and it's going to be placed inside of your car on the dashboard when you're driving so that people that are working outside your dorm to make sure that cars are moving smoothly, they need to know that your car is able to even go down that road by your dorm. So you need to have those things with you in preparation yeah also they block off roads during move-in so certain roads are going to become only one way and they make it so that it's kind of like a kiss and kiss and drive kiss and drive line i think it's called where you literally just pull up drop off all your stuff and then the car continues moving so that's what it's going to be like make sure you have that piece of paper make sure you know what time slot you're given make sure you know which dorm you're going to be in because that is before move-in even begins Next, when it is finally time to move in, you're going to be driving on your route, you're going, your paper is going to be in your dashboard, and you're going to pull up to the front of your dorm room. And there, there's going to be your orientation aids holding signs that are the exact same color that you have. They're going to be music playing, there's going to be other people in purple shirts helping you, opening doors. Sometimes there are other sports teams or clubs on campus. I had the boys soccer team helping us move in because they were living in our dorm they were carrying boxes for us so what you're going to do is you're going to pull up to the front of your dorm you're going to take every single thing out of your car out of the trunk out of the back seat whatever you're going to put it on the side of the road so you're gonna have a huge pile of stuff on the side of the road and then your car is going to just move through so whoever's driving is going to continue and then they can park and then come back to help you later if they need to so definitely bring um two parents with you or like two people to help so one person can drive and one person can help you while the other car is or while the car has already driven past you so yeah you're going to be dropping off all your stuff and then keep driving and now you're going to begin your move in so the first thing you need to do is you need to go get your room key so you're going to someone's going to tell you hey go inside go into the lobby or wherever the station is and you're going to get a freshman packet so you're going to have a drawstring bag there's paper in there, some flyers, I think like one of those little phone pockets, some stuff like that. You're gonna have a lanyard that has your name on it so people wear that during the first day of orientation so that they know who you are. And then you're going to be getting your room key. And with that room key, then you are going to be able to go up to your room to start moving in. So during this, you're going to be hit with a wave of just humidity, heat, sweat, and the smell of historic Williamsburg. I remember walking in, everyone was, there was like huge lines of people waiting to do stuff. People were running in and out, doors constantly opening. The staircases are constantly full. People are just minding their own business. No one is trying to meet anyone. You're just going, doing your stuff, trying to move in, trying to carry all these boxes. And it's kind of chaotic, but it's going to end up being okay, I promise. So once you go into the lobby, you get your room key, and then you can actually go up to your room and open it. And your room is going to be empty and dirty. They clean the dorms after you move out, and there's like a month or two gap where there's just no, no one in the room, no one's cleaning it, nothing's happening in there. So it's going to get really, really dusty. So with that being said, when you move in, bring a Swiffer, bring Clorox wipes, bring something that can help you clean, bring like Windex um, or some sort of surface cleaner and paper towels and bring trash bags because before you even want to even put your stuff down on your bed or on your room, you want to wipe it down beforehand because it's going to be dusty and pretty dirty. 
So just keep that in mind. Next, there are pretty much no elevators in freshman dorms, at least there wasn't in mine. So staircases are going to be narrow. They're going to have people going up and down them all the time. You're going to be carrying boxes up and down. So just get used to that. There's going to be a ton of people everywhere. Um, so just get ready for that. And everyone is sweating once again no ac unless you are in lemon hall as a freshman and it's going to be humid it is the summer in virginia humid sweaty hot the historic smell so you get to have that to look forward to <laughs> while you are moving your boxes up and down some people may be also bringing in your boxes when people see stuff on the side of the road people that are helping you move in that are designated to your dorm once they see stuff on the side of the road they just start moving stuff upstairs immediately so keep an eye on your stuff keep an eye on your boxes make sure you see who's bringing stuff where i think a couple of my boxes were brought to a different room so i had to go track them down so just be aware of that because it's not only going to be you trying to move stuff in there's going to be other people that are helping you as well and as you are moving in as you're starting to unpack everything you are ra and your OAs are going to be just popping their heads in and out of every room, introducing themselves, making sure that you're doing okay. If you have any questions, you can ask them that then. And yeah, so you're going to be juggling a lot of stuff, moving in, meeting your roommate, unpacking everything, cleaning stuff, meeting your OAs, your RAs, trying not to die of heat. So definitely bring water and yeah, all that stuff. So after your initial move in time, you have a couple hours i want to say like three or four hours um and then immediately after you move in you say bye to your family and you go downstairs and you meet with your hall and orientation begins the second that you move in orientation begins like the same day like a couple hours later you have no time to rest no time to break there's no time to even be sad or miss anyone because you have stuff to do immediately so william mary definitely wants to keep you busy to try to keep your mind occupied your mind off anything that may be making you anxious or worried yeah there's really no time for you to be sad or worried about missing anyone because the Bully Mary is going to have you jump right into orientation and start doing stuff. So after you move in, you're always we're going to say, hey, second floor, let's go. We're meeting downstairs in the lobby. We're going to start orientation. So you start with everyone sits in a circle. Your orientation aides are going to introduce themselves. And then you're going to start playing kindergarten games, like the name game. Yeah, you're gonna be doing a lot of introductory games, like if you do in high school, like icebreakers, stuff like that. And I know at the beginning, I was like, I am not five years old, I am in college. Why are we doing this? Trust me, it's gonna help you learn everyone's names. Just trust the process is the biggest thing with orientation because you're probably not going to enjoy it. I didn't, I thought I was being treated like a kindergartner the entire time, but it ends up being for the best at the end of it. So trust the process <laughs> and then the second after you move in, orientation begins all the way through the day before classes. You're going to be busy from 6 in the morning to around 8 p.m. every single day doing orientation things. So no time to be sad. You don't have any free time to go off and do stuff that you like. You uh, really just jump right into the tribe. So that is what your movement is going to be like. Um, so yeah. Get excited. It's a really fun experience. You get to, this is the start of your college life, the start of meeting people, the start of moving in and living on your own if you haven't, the start of all of these new things. So it's definitely going to be different with COVID and everything that's going on. Masks are definitely going to be required. I don't know how proximity is going to work. You're probably going to be staggered in the times that you move in rather than everyone giving the, the same time slot and moving in. I'm not sure how orientation is going to work either if it's going to be online or not. Um, but this is what a normal movement is like. I'm sure it's going to mimic it. Orientation has never failed William & Mary. They're probably going to stick to the same methods. I know orientation aids still exist. I have friends that are orientation aids right now. They're getting trained. So you have a lot to look forward to. It's going to be really, really fun, I promise. Don't let all of the hecticness and chaos um scare you away from anything just be open-minded be really positive be really happy and thankful that you even get to be there and you're going to have a great time i promise Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it gave you a lot of insight on what freshman movement is like at William & Mary and I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you found it useful and comment down below any other videos you would like to see from me. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!